All right, folks, listen, we're gonna get into this video that I desperately wanted to review with y'all. David Pakman, left-wing media figure, left-wing podcaster, talking about all the things now that we're starting to see with mainstream media, the collapse of left-wing media post the election cycle. And it's not just relegated to him, it's relegated to all left-wing media. Anybody know who this joy to humanity is right here? Do you ever see uh, him moderate the debate between uh, Destiny and Dennis Prager? That was a good time. Credit where it's due, I think he actually did a good job. He didn't like interject too much of his own, uh, his own BS. When I woke up this morning, we had lost 5,000 YouTube subscribers. What a way to start that video, huh? What a way to start that video. Compared to where we were last night. Now, the first thing I thought was, is this a glitch? We've been on YouTube for 15 years or something like that. And subscribers always just go up. They it's not true, but interesting. You think that they they just never go down. They go up. Is something wrong with my channel? Is someone attacking my channel? What's going on? So I started texting and I texted Brian Tyler Cohen and I texted Tyler Cohen and Brian Cohen and Brian Tyler, all of my. Wait, are those all people with the same name? I know who Brian Tyler Cohen is, but is there a Tyler Cohen, a Brian Cohen and a Brian Tyler? Like he said right there. Is that real? Can someone fact check me on that? <laughs> what? Texted all of them. I texted Jesse Dollimore. I texted Luke Beasley and Farron Cousins. Oh, you're in Sam great company, Cedar. bro. Great company. And every single one of our channels since last night is hemorrhaging subscribers. I wonder why. Like I said, it's almost as if people have wised up to your BS. It's almost as if people understand that you've been lying to them and overhyping the the election, the big bad orange man, orange man bad, bad man orange. And they're like possibly upset with you or they just don't trust you. Is that a possibility, brother? What is it that is going on? Here is a graphic. As you can see, subscribers just go up, 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 and they are down. It is not just YouTube subscribers. We are seeing record cancellations of paid memberships. Record number of unsubscribes and cancellations of paid members. Actions have consequences, Mr. Pacman. Actions, there is a cause and effect. If you continuously feed people lines of BS and fear monger and scare monger and deny the reality that you're staring everybody directly in the face, the plausible response might be that you're not credible anymore. Record cancellations. These are the people that keep the show running. Now, for a moment, I thought, yeah, this does remind me of the Hassan video, the Hassan Piker video, Cenk Uger's uh, nephew on Twitch when he was complaining about streaming being so hard. Just YouTube. Maybe YouTube is purging uh, people who are uh, inactive subscribers. And I haven't lost any. Once a year, usually YouTube does this and you see a little decline and then numbers go back up. They're not doing it. They're not doing it. And if that were the case, we wouldn't be seeing paid membership cancellations on the website. Yeah, people put their money where their mouth is typically. They're not going to want to, if they don't believe you and don't find you credible anymore, why would they want to pay you? So now I understand what is going on. It's terrifying, but it is happening. Um, a lot of people are checking out. I heard anecdotally from a couple dozen people who said, you know, David, I just can't do it anymore. I just can't do it. I'm checking out. I'm out. And the reason that this is terrifying, not only because it puts everybody in left wing media's livelihoods at stake. And oh, no. What would the world do without the lying left wing media? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Say it isn't so, David Pakman. The left wing media apparatus is collapsing. And at risk, it terrifies me because our instinct is the opposite of what the right does. And we will get crushed if this is the way we respond to a defeat. He, that, he is right about that, though. He is right about that. But he, I don't think he's being fully genuine with it, because when the right 
gets crushed, yeah, they organize. When the left got crushed in 2016, watch out. They got organized, they devised a plan, and they executed on that plan. What he's talking about is, and you'll see, further wanting to no longer buy the hysteria, actually. But he's not going to call it hysteria. He just thinks it's part of a dangerous thing that's going to happen because he's not going to make his subscriber count or he's not going to make his paid memberships anymore. The right wants us not to exist. The right wants to decimate independent progressive media. Not true necessarily. I did make fun of being like, oh, what's the world going to do without it? Because yeah, the world would probably be a better place without it. But I am the first, he tries, to, that's almost like an, that's a censorship argument that he's trying to make of the right. The right doesn't try to censor anybody. I love debate. I always say, if you're in my chat and you disagree with me, type it in, you'll get my attention right away. But if you disagree with me, I will always respond to your question first. I, we encourage debate. The left-wing media does not encourage debate. He's trying to make it. He's trying to make a censorship argument from the right side of the aisle, and I don't, it's not landing. And so, when I lose five thousand subscribers, and Brian loses thousands, and Ring of Fire loses thousands, and everybody's losing thousands of subscribers, understand that when the right loses, they get organized, they fund, and they create insanely effective organizations like Turning Point USA investing in the daily wire and building out this huge network of right wing idea ideas and influencers. So if you're feeling burnt out, I encourage you take a break until the inauguration. It's months. OK, do, for mental health break. Do it. But when we start canceling the subscriptions, we are in an algorithmic desubscription spiral right now because when people start unsubscribing Check this on out. YouTube, YouTube thinks, oh, th we probably shouldn't recommend this content <laughs> because it's generating a lot of unsubscribes. So then the content doesn't get recommended and then the message doesn't get out. And then next election, they win by even more. So basically what's happening is so many people have unsubscribed since the election from David Pakman's channel, Bri Brian Tyler Cohen, and a lot of these other left-wing uh, 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 podcasters, YouTube channels, and social media sites, that YouTube is now thinking, hey, maybe we shouldn't show their content anymore because of the fact that nobody likes it and there's so many people leaving their channel. The chickens will come home to roost at some point. The chickens will come home to roost at some point. So I do understand the instinct, but if we cede ground to them, they crush us everywhere. Now we're up against a MAGA Supreme Court potentially till 2050. We'll talk about that later. We've been talking about this, a MAGA Supreme Court. But what's interesting too about the MAGA Supreme Court, I don't wanna get too far off on a tangent here, is they don't always agree with Republicans. Look back, look at the, look at the, look at the rulings. They haven't 100% gone the way of Republicans. Not every conservative issue is winning in the Supreme Court because guess what? A lot of stuff posed by both sides are unconstitutional and the Supreme Court's main objective is to interpret and legislate based on the Constitution. That's what their job is to do. They're not there passing laws. They're there to have cases brought before them to legislate based on their constitutional legality. That is what it's for. We're up against a completely uninhibited Trump. I actually have an entire chapter in my forthcoming book, The Echo Machine, about exactly this. It's actually I'm hemorrhaging subscribers. I'm hemorrhaging memberships. Trump is uninhibited. And I have a whole chapter about it in my book. <laughs> actually, it's, not, it's the introduction. In the introduction, I explain how it's disgusting to me. It's disgusting to me that when you engage in politics, you can't just find solutions. First, you've got to convince people climate change is even happening. You can't just find solutions because half the country doesn't even accept the science of vaccines. I, I outline this in the introduction, but I also make the point in the book that if you actually care about the world for ourselves, children, grandchildren, other people, families, friends, people we care about. I'm waiting on the pitch. When you disengage because they've gotten so extreme, you cede ground to them and you say, do whatever you want. I, I, I'm, I'm disengaging, do whatever you want. And we really can't do that. OK, so my request to you today is please resubscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> I did not see that one coming. Oh, my gosh. 
please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please come back. Oh my gosh, that was so good. What I was gonna say until that part, just like, that made me almost fall out of my chair, I'm not gonna lie. The part that he did say I do agree with is that when you bury your head in the sand, when you feel burnt out and you let that win, bad things then end up happening and you can, and you have no one to blame for it but yourself for not doing what you can. If you if things are going against you but you've done everything that you can to try to help fight the culture war and fight for American values and it doesn't go your way still, you can still sleep good at night. I could still sleep good at night. But that's why I said about Republicans, a lot of conservatives who I'll talk to them about trans and the kids, I'll talk to them about a lot of different cultural culture war issues and political issues. They're like, I just, uh, I just, I'm just overwhelmed by it. I don't want to pay attention. I just want, I just want, I'm like, but it's going to show up eventually. I know that was cut short there. It was obviously clipped, but that's amazing. You can't make this up. The internet remains undefeated, ladies and gentlemen.